Welcome to our retirement, folks. I did. What? Why are you for it? Oh. <laughs> mm. well, we're having a funny discussion here. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Uh, yeah, uh, somebody. Somebody's. You, one of you lot, I can't never remember who said what. There's that many comments. I lose track of you all. Mm -hmm. um, and there's loads of Carols and Dianes and Lindas and <laughs> Susans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, somebody said, why don't you? Uh, do a video about the accident and see how it compares to what to the actual vlog that we made you know the actual video we made at the time mm. Mm. and that Pat said oh I don't want to do that I don't want to talk about that <laughs> um, be because there there was a point in the smash where we don't know whether we were both unconscious or not. We, and I know that you I are. saw him coming as, and I was trying to, I was, half the van was on the grass, verge trying to avoid this guy. Um, and on the point of impact, I don't remember the point of impact. I just remember him coming um, and I was braking and pulling over to the left um, and that was it, that was it. And when I come round, because I must have been out I think because I saw Pat and she was crying and saying things like, oh look at the van. Um, um and helicopter had landed right then, hadn't they? Well, that's what I was, that's what I'm trying to work out. Um at, round about that when you were oh. you were talking to me. Uh, and I didn't I didn't know. I, I, I couldn't work out what was going on because well, he was staring, but he wasn't staring properly. It wasn't, he wasn't focusing on them. He was just sort of moving his head, wasn't you? Well, I was and looking at me. I couldn't comprehend. Any, I couldn't comprehend. I saw the windscreen and it were all caved in. Yeah, um, and And crazed, you know. It didn't shatter. It was still intact. Yeah. Was the windscreen, but it was all caved in, and and the door was right up against me, my side door. Uh, so I, I couldn't comprehend what I was looking at. And I think you've been shoved forward, haven't you? Because you were right up against I were steering right, wheel. Yeah, I was. I was. I, were, I didn't know whether whether it had come, it had all come this way or not. I don't know. I couldn't comprehend, but I, I then I saw this helicopter land, but it will not it didn't look to me like an ambulance helicopter, and I, it, I thought it looked red, but and I just thought, what's what's that landing? What's that doing? Land it was landing in a field at the other side of the road. Mm. Um, And that's, I sort of, I, well that were it, I didn't know, oh then I looked across the road and there were a car parked and there a lady had got out of her car and she was stood looking across at us. Um, and that's, until they got me out of the ambulance, that's all on. When when I when they got me out of the ambulance on oh. the stretcher, I saw all these ambulances oh, and the fire camper. engines. Yeah, when they got me out of the camper, 
I saw everything then. Oh, oh, oh. I, I did see a lorry, a lorry. When I was in the camper, I did see a lorry. And the, the, the lorry driver were just leaning on the steering wheel. So he must have been there a while. Yeah. Um, watching what were going on, because he had full view of everything. You know, and behind mm. him were just a tail back of vehicles. Um, he were higher up so he could yeah, see yeah, better. Yeah. Mm. He was just watching what all the what was unfolding in front of him. Mm. Um, and then of course we remember I remember everything after that. I remember being in the ambulance and the doctor that had come out of this helicopter, he cut my clothes off and got out of my arms and my legs. I had a feel at my neck and my back and just said to the ambulance people, uh, miraculously, this man has no broken bones. And, and with that, he left. <laughs> um, well, he came to me. He came to you, he then? He came in, into the thing and had a discussion with me. I can't remember what about. Um, but he was saying, we think we might send your husband to Nottingham. Um... And I said, will I be going with him? And he said, no, we'll send you to Boston. I, oh, no, you can't do that. Uh -huh. No, he'd have a fit if I went with him. If he knew I went in the same place. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. So they must have had a conflab between ambulance and, and himself and decided to send us both to Boston. Because yeah. <clears throat> I, said, I said, you won't. You know, you'd you'd be truly upset and yeah, I would that and it would be uh, different. It, it, it would be been awful for ridiculous, our Tracy. ridiculous. Because how would our Tracy have? She she couldn't have gone to Nottingham and Boston. Oh, well, it's um, yeah, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and where would you have? How would you have got home from Nottingham? From Boston. No, you, oh Boston. If I were in Nottingham, yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. Um. Anyway, they, do, they don't think like that, do they? No, they uh, just want to send you where it's best for you. For your think injuries. It will more to see head injuries and and that at Nottingham, I bet. And the ambulance driver said you're the luckiest man on earth, and and I said why, and he said, well, haven't you seen, haven't you seen your your van? I said no, and they showed me a picture of it. Mm. Um, and I, I, I said, "Wow!" I didn't realise, you know, it was all so bad, really. Mm. Um, and then we got carted off to Boston, pair of us, and in different ambulances, two different ambulances, and both finished up in A and E, didn't we? Mm. And then I had a brain scan. And they said that there was no... Soft tissue damage. Just soft tissue damage and concussion. Mm. That was it. Uh, and so they didn't keep you in. They didn't even give you a neck brace. They didn't do... No, they didn't do anything. They just sent you home, didn't they? Yeah. Tracy eventually arrived and mm. we went home with Tracy. We came home here to, to, with Tracy. Mm. Uh, that's, that's it, really. Yeah. Yeah. And poor Tracy had been at home ill all day mm. in bed. Mm. She were off work ill. She we dragged she her She wouldn't have got the call if no. she'd have been at work because she's not allowed to have her phone on. So mm. she wouldn't have got the call. Yeah. So it was mm. a miracle in every sense. Well, my phone were in, still in van. Yeah, so we had to you, we had to get your phone off of you. All oh, right. But I don't know how to work Trevor's phone. So this policeman said, um, "I'll get into it for you." And somehow he found a a way in and found her number. And he said, "They are." I said, "Well, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> how do I ring her?" Yeah. He says, "Well, I'll ring her for you." And he spoke to her first right. and said, I'm with your mum and dad. Um, they've been in an accident. And would you like to speak to your mum? 
<laughs> that wouldn't have been a very nice no, no. phone call. She said, oh, that were awful, she said. Mm. Had to scamp around and find, because she brought clothes for her dad because he said he'd had them cut off him. Yeah, so. I, I just had a, um, well, I had my underwear on, but mm. um, I had a, you know, hospital gown and that mm. way. She brought me some some shoes, didn't she? Because I got out of, for some unknown reason, that, that particular day I didn't have my shoes on. Because we'd sat having us lunch um, and then I'd, I didn't put my shoes on because they were dirty, I think. Oh. Um, so I was sat in front seat without any shoes on. So when, when the two ambulance people arrived, which were pretty quick because they were behind us going to another, another, miracle. another, another shout. Um, she said, are you all right? I said, I'm all right. Will you get in and see to my husband if I get out? So I got out at camper with no shoes on. So my feet were all wet. Because <laughs> the grass were wet. Yeah, yeah. grass were wet. It's been raining, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So there were two of them helped me to ambulance because they were a bit unsteady. So all I, I remember is screaming when I saw this car come to me. Yeah. And then crying. Um and then I look I look behind me and fridge freezer were right up again our seats at back. Yeah. It had been thrown. And there were there were egg cups and, and uh, plastic glass and other bits in front of me. <laughs> Which should have been it covered at back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that were quite funny. But I never found my purse on me my phone. So where on earth they went, I don't know. You don't know where they were before actually. No, no, I can't remember. Where the way I mean they might have been in my coat pocket for all I know. Um And the coat. And the coat is was still in the, the van. The van it was oh. all covered in oil and, oil and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I did undo my seatbelt and I undid your seatbelt. Right. Um, and you were just dazed. You really didn't know what you were looking at, I don't think. Incidentally, the airbags never went off. No, they didn't. We don't know Neither why. Of them. I think maybe that were a good thing though because mm. I think if airbags had gone off we'd have and had more injuries, more injuries. To, to our face and that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I mean I, I had bru uh, like bit of mm. ache or bruising on my chest mm. where seat belt had yeah. caught me. I were black and blue, me. Oh you are, yeah. Yeah. You were black and blue all down one side. And your leg were cut. Mm. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But they didn't do up about that, did they? No. They didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Just left it. Yeah, well, they did. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. 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 I was wimping a bit with that mm. leg. I know she took me into a room and put them things on me to test for me out. I well, they did that with me at some point. Because <laughs> they were stuck to my chest when I got home. Yeah. I don't recall that. Right. I have no recollection right. of that. I don't know who did that when. Yeah. Well, when, I had it done in ambulance and then I had it done. Whether she at did the hospital. it in, in the van mm. while I was just sat there, sort of mm. non compass mentors. Compass mentors. That and well done back. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So. Oh, anyway, that's 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 about it. That's that's yeah. about it. Yeah. I can't tell you no more. Mm. Really. Um, apart from when we went, because the the they carted the van off to um a storage yard in Lincolnshire, and it was there for about two week. Yeah. Bef before it was maybe three. 
before it were brought back up to Leeds into a storage yard in Leeds and then we had to go. I thought, open the door, open the door and walk in, walk in and, and get some stuff. <laughs> go. It was just that was full of rubbish shock. in the middle, wasn't that it? That was another shock. I, yeah, thought, that, 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 I you, think that were worse. That, oh, yeah. When we saw, oh, oh God. Yeah. The mess. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, we'd just done a shop before the accident, haven't we? Yeah. And Which I, I mean, the steak were on the floor with maggots crawling on it. And, oh, oh, it did smell. It were horrible. It did. It stunk. Oh. It were horrible oh, in there. Oh, my new carpets. It, yeah. Because <laughs> we... We'd had new, we'd bought new carpets, you know, made special, and, special for it. Mm. New, new bedding on bed because just Tracy had that bought. year we just had the gas low system <coughs> put in. <coughs> yeah, I just had the timing belt done and serviced. Mm. <sighs> yeah. There were all sorts in there. There's no wonder we, we couldn't face getting another van. Not really. I, when you think what when all that we've done to that van to get it, to make it right, mm -hmm. and have to start all over again. No. Yeah. Couldn't face it. No. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> anyway, that's the story of the van. Yeah. The smash. Mm. Um, I mean, outside that van was covered in plastic, wasn't it? Oh, well, they cut together. They cut a, a the big lump out the side, a big, massive hole out of the side of the van to get, get you to out. get me out. And me, uh, this this stuff they put on it were amazing. Mm. It didn't you have were, stick. They were an hour and a half cutting you out. Mm. So that amber, that helicopter thing arrived. Well, they were doing that. Wow. I'd, I've lost all sense of time. I yeah. didn't, I didn't well, know I were an I hour did. and a half in that van. No, I didn't. In ambulance, I didn't think I was sat there that to long. To me, it seemed like ten minutes. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, they cut you out. Yeah. She won't let me watch a pulp blinds again. Oh. After a bit. <laughs> oh, mm. not. Um, any road. We went out yesterday. We did. We went into town. Got the bus. Um, and we, we, we knew, we knew what we thought we knew that there were Indian restaurants open during the day because you know most of them are shut during the day, aren't they? Mm. But we knew, we thought we knew of a couple in Leeds that were open during yeah. the day. But anyway, when we got there, the ones. The mm. water. So we we wandered round and I said, Well, mm. that place, that spot where I met you in 1966, there were, there was a massive Chinese restaurant there. Mm. We'll go there to see if it's open. I and I didn't think it were open actually because well, it, it had all black windows and, yeah. and the doors were closed. There was these sliding doors. And they were closed and they were black, blackened out. So it, mm. it was hard I, to see. I did see two people sat in there when we passed. Right. So I knew it, that it were open when we yeah, passed. Yeah, but, but we passed an Indian restaurant and all the lights were on inside, but it was but still no, shut. Yeah. So you still didn't, I still weren't convinced. Yeah. But as, as we walked up to the doors, they just opened. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Mm. Mm. A oh. young lady there to meet us and give us uh, a sit so down and uh, that were a Rolls Royce Chinese was. restaurant. One, I it? think it was Japanese. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. It was called <laughs> the Blue Summer. Were it? The, the name. If when you watch the video after this chat, the name will come up. Cause, oh, will it? Yeah, because I filmed mm. that that area where I met you. All oh, right. In nineteen sixty six, and right. the name of the restaurants there, All right. the Blue Summit or other, so okay. you'll see it. Um, right. 
It was exquisite. Mm. Absolutely fantastic place. Beautiful, beautifully done out. Mm. The staff were amazing. The food was mm. absolutely delicious. Right. But it worked cheap. No. A young man come and talk to us for ages. Oh, didn't he they? did. I think and they employed staff. this guy just to help you choose what you want and yeah make, make recommendations make, his, make recommendations based on what you like and um mm. oh if you want to be adventurous you can have squid, squid. no octopus it will probably <laughs> knowing knowing what we ate knowing what we had it probably was nice nice yeah you'd think oh no i don't want that I don't <laughs> want, i'm not eating octopus uh, but it, it, it will probably would probably have been mm. That I had that pork, sweet and sour pork in lychee sauce. Well, and it had lychee in it. In it, it, it which nice. I associate lychees with a, a, a dessert. Mm. Um, but yeah. it, it sure went with this food. And, and that yeah. dragon fruit, yeah. that were amazing. Yeah. You can't say it had a strong taste. No, but... It were nice. Oh. And colourful. Very. Well, that purple, wasn't it? And they'd shaped it. Yeah. Gone to a lot of trouble with it. Um, mm. it, it took a long time. Yeah, we, we it, were They waiting. didn't come in Russia. It, we were in there a fair while. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we were. I'd go back, I'd go back again. Yeah. But you, you need to be prepared to spend. Um, yeah. I have it, some money. It was a bit complicated at first because they gave us like two menus, didn't they? One of the menus. You could order five things for thirty pound, was it? Five. Yeah. Five little. They were. Like start. It was very complicated, that but one. he'd have explained things to us. Yeah. But we chose the lunchtime menu, mm. um, which. What a, a starter, a main course and a dessert, but we yeah. didn't have a dessert. No. Um, did he ask us if we wanted a dessert? No, I, I think, think he, think he realised that we'd probably had enough for yeah, yeah, the first two courses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I had three spring rolls. Yeah, you did, yeah. And then my main course, which was like a squared off piece of pork. With it looked like a gel on top. Now whether that were the actual pork skin, I'm not sure. But it was blooming beautiful. <laughs> it was so tender. <laughs> and some um, pak choy. Mm. Yeah, they were nice around it. Yeah, yeah. It was absolutely amazing. Mm. It was. Yeah, that's I, good. I suppose. I, 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 I mean, what with that place and these hotels. Yeah. We we've never ever done anything like that in our no. lives. We would never go into a place like that. We'd be terrified. I'd have run out. Yeah. I'd have thought, oh no, this is can't not go in here. can't go in here. It's um, not for us. So we've never. Same with these hotels we've been to. Mm. I'd be totally intimidated by them at one point. We'd never ever been in places like that. No. So since the smash, we've we've sort of embarked. Well, the the, the insurance money that we got to buy a new van with is what we're using to do these things that we're doing yeah. that we've never ever done in our lives before. No. Um. So it is quite an adventure, um, but it it won't enough to get a, a replacement van. No, not not no. not what we had. No. So um, and replace all the stuff in it. And yeah, we're still on with that. Yeah, I had an, an, I had an email from the insurance company yesterday, um, and the transferring. Because we're still battling with them to right. get all the content, you know, the contents, everything we lost in the van. We've never been compensated for that. And we're still battling with them. And we've had it transferred 
from their insurance company, the guy who hit us, who was at, he was insured with Admiral. It's been transferred from them to our legal team. Mm, now. Now. So the, our, our legal, the legal team for our insurance is now dealing with that aspect of it. Mm. Um, so it's still on. It's still ongoing. Is all yeah. that? And you're I've, still waiting to go for another. I've got to have another doctors. see another doctor about my head. Um, yeah. Cause, mm. well, we don't know whether this dizziness I'm getting is anything to do with it. No. We, and and also, mm, just general how. How your, um, your brain's working at the mm. moment. Sometimes it's all right. I, I, I think I'm going to have to make two videos. With this? Yeah. Yeah. We've been talking yeah. for 25 minutes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... I'll tell you what, just hang on a minute.